it's Jack Duran, and today I wanted to come because you guys have asked me how I make my Scentsy samples. So I wanted to give you just a little quick demo of how I do that. I actually have two different ways that I do it. One is what I like to call my quick method, and the other is um, I try to a lot once a month out of my business time, because remember, it's always best to organize your time that you're gonna spend on your business. And what I like to do is I like to a lot one day towards the end of the month, so that's getting ready for next month. Right now it's the end of January 2014, and we're getting ready to go into February. Um, and by now, of course, I've already got my subscription to Scent of the Month. As a consultant member, we can do that starting on the 15th of the previous month, so the 15th of January. I um, went ahead and opted for my subscription for Scent of the Month for February. Uh, that came in probably about the 21st, I think it was, of the month. Um, so now I'm ready for February. Even though it's not February yet, I want to start getting ready and start promoting to my customers what's coming up for February and getting that calendar pre-booked because that's my main focus right now is pre-booking that calendar for the upcoming month. Um, so one of those ways is, of course, to do my mail outs. And when I do my mail outs, I make samples to send out because I want to share the scent with everybody. I want them to know and be as, just as excited as I am. To get something before they can buy it it's kind of fun and exciting for us so remember for february we've got sparkling citrus pear so that's what i'm making samples of like i said once a month i make sure that i take out about two hours towards the end of the month so i can prep for the next so today is my day i've got two hours that i've kind of reserved for my business time um, i've marked it out on my calendar and that way i know that this is my sample making time so today that's what i'm doing um, and when I do that, I actually don't use my quick method, I use my longer method, and we're going to show you, I'm going to show you that to you real quick. Um, but first, the quick method. This is what I do throughout the month, so outside of that window of prepping for the, you know, upcoming month. Throughout the month, I may have, you know, I may have run out of samples, or I may have um, an event or uh, a home party that I want to make some extra samples for, and so I want to do it kind of quick. I don't want to take too much time away from my family and the other business activities that I've got going on, so I do a quick method, and that's by using my little crinkle cutter. Uh, this is, well, it's, I guess, technically called a wavy knife. I picked it up at Bed Bath & Beyond probably about two years ago, um, so it lasts for, well, forever for me. Um, I'm not sure if they still have them. I think that they do, um, but they may not, so just in case they don't, uh, you can get them on Amazon. I've... I shop on Amazon quite a lot, and so I'm always looking for different stuff. And so I do know that Amazon still carries them. So you can, you know, suit, do a quick search for a wavy knife. You'll probably be able to find that real easy. So anyway, wavy knife, quick method of doing it. And I'll kind of show you because I kind of have one that was ready to go the other day. So this is Simply Lemon. So I took Simply Lemon because I had um, somebody somebody asked me if they if I had a sample of it. Of course I do. So I came home, took out my personal bar, and I took one cube, so I'll just break off a cube here. Take one cube, and then you're just gonna, well, sorry, camera can't lay down right now, but lay it down on the flat surface and you're just gonna cut right into it. When you do that, you come up with a couple different pieces, and here's one that I did out of the one cube I did earlier. So you'll see, there you go, you've got the little wavy sample and um, depending on you know if you're trying to make it more cost effective you could do another cut right there in the middle get two more samples out of that you can actually get quite a few samples out of using the crinkle cutter so it is very cost effective very quick way to make those samples and you know because it's so quick and easy it still looks very pretty and presentable and I like that so um, that's my method for throughout the month but again, like I said, today we're concentrating on the allotted two hours that I've got for my business today. And so what I'm gonna do is show you my molds. So this is, I actually did two real quick just to show you guys, but here. Um, these are plastic molds. I get these at Michael's, preferably. That's just where I normally shop. Um, you can get at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, uh, any of the candy stores around town, or even online. You can get online and Google them, and you can probably find a couple candy stores because these are actually candy chocolate melts molds. So, um, but they work perfectly for our wax because our wax is so pliable. It's that paraffin wax, so it's nice and easy to work with. It melts down very easily. 
Um, and these I like, they actually have like a little, um, I don't know, a candy design, I guess, but I have a half dozen different molds that I use throughout the year for different seasons, but this one I like because it's really thin, so I'm not using a whole bunch of wax when I'm making my, wool, my molds, and so they still look very pretty, and I like the wow factor, so that's what I do. So anyway, um, and I've got, sorry, I've got some more wax going. What I do, again, different people have different methods. Um, you can get like a, a Wilton chocolate melter. You can use one of those. It's a little pot. Again, Michael's Hobby Lobby. I just use my own warmer. And I actually use one that is a square. This is from my Jane warmer. I've got it going right here in my kitchen. So I actually put about uh, three or four cubes at a time, melt them down. You can see I've got another batch ready to go. So it's kind of started to melt. Um, what I'm going to do is get that melting. Once it's melting, I'm going to, I'll show you real quick. I'm going to take that, so I'm going to take my wax, oops, and I'm just pouring it directly into the mold. Sorry, normally I do this on the counter, but I want to make sure you see and I wanted to get a good demo for you. So, see how thin they are? I get a nice little uh, batch just out of some cubes of wax. Alright, so once those are poured in, then I'm going to actually pop those into the freezer. About 10 minutes. That's it. Pop them in the freezer. Wait 10 minutes. And then when they come out, here's two that I did just a little bit ago. They were still in the mold there. I popped them out. And there you can see, they're just small little discs of the wax and it's it's so perfect because it smells so great I just I adore it I really really do you know Madison thank you here do that she's trying to help she's being so sweet um, anyway so then what you do is you're gonna just take your bags I've um, got a couple different uh, sizes of bag um, I can again buy these anywhere I get mine mostly off of Amazon because I can buy in bulk and get them cheaper that way when I buy in bulk but I use the two by three size. You can also, from the Cincy Family Store, get, they've got some bags as well. Um, they're called the mini zip bags. And as you can see, they've got the Cincy logo on them. And they're a perfect size if you want to put in one of your business cards in there. So, especially when I'm doing an event, I will actually use these. I will put my business card in, put a sample in with it, and then either write or do a label on the business card that shows what the scent is. So, that's kind of very fun. But these are for my mail outs. So for my mail outs, what I do is I take one of the two by three bags, I put my label on the back with my information. That's just the standard label that I use for all of my stuff. And then I take my label maker and I um, type out the name of the scent. So today again is Sparkling Citrus Pear. So I've got that on the front of the bag. So we just open our bag. We pop in our little sample. Close it up. There we go. No, no, Madison, no more, okay? And then I take one of our monthly flyers, because again, remember, I'm doing mail outs. I want to get these out to my customers in the mail so they can smell it and see it. And so I take one of those monthly flyers, I just fold it into three. So I fold it so it's just like that, so it fits perfectly in my envelope that I use for my mail outs. So I've got this, it says monthly special on the front. I take my sample. And so I'm just going to open it very quickly here. I got my stapler. I'm going to staple my sample. And there we go. So this fits perfectly in the envelope that is ready to go out the door. No, no, Madison. Not anymore. So it's all ready to go in the envelope. It's once they open it, of course, they've got the entire flyer with all the information. They've got their fun sample. And now they're ready to smell and be excited, just like I am for February. So there you go. That's it in a nutshell. Samples are pretty easy. Like I said, you get a little assembly line going, and you can really knock these out quick. Uh, once you get those molds in the freezer, all you do, again, 10 minutes, just pop them right out. They just fall right out. And, you know, you've got a great, fun way to introduce that scent to everybody. So have fun with your samples. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. 
Again, play around, see what works for you. Maybe you prefer the crinkle. Maybe maybe you prefer the molds and have more fun doing these. I mean, you can get tons of different molds. Um, have fun with your samples. Have fun with your Scentsy. That's the point. So make some samples. Let's see them. I want to see what yours look like. So show them to me. Send them to me via Facebook, Instagram me, whatever you want to do. I want to see your samples. Get them out there. Get them done. All right. Talk to you soon.